Good morning and welcome to One Life Wing It. Um, this morning we're doing a, a podcast called Monday Morning. Uh, Joanne came up with an amazing idea yesterday afternoon when she'd had uh, a couple of cans of lager and thought it was a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> and the reason we're doing this is because uh, of our, well my actually, uh, interest in how tired someone can be in their life in the morning. So we call it Monday morning, uh, but actually we ought to retitle it Monday afternoon because Joanne has got up. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, now, let me just paint you the picture. It's uh, it's the day before the hurricane came. So uh, this is the 16th of October 2017. And there's a, there's a, there's a hurricane coming, apparently. Um, it's going to hit any minute now. Although it does look weird outside, doesn't it? It looks really weird. It looks... It looks, it looks lovely. It does. The it looks... Is... Well, and all the birds are kind of... You know, it looks like a hammer house... Yeah, birds look like they're bricking it. They know something's happening, don't they? Hey, they know something's happening. So at the moment, Joanne's just making me a cup of tea, as you can hear, uh, and then we're going to talk about Monday mornings. Um, I, t- I tell you what interests me about Monday mornings, Auntie well, Joe, well, is the so. is the um, there's a, if you go on Twitter on a Monday morning, they have this thing. They have loads of things for different days because they're really really imaginative on Twitter, like. Uh, let me just let me just have a quick look. Is so it that Monday motivation? Yeah, Monday motivation, and that and I kind of I've always thought this in my life. I don't understand it. Do you? Uh, well, I know you do. I mean, because we come we come at mornings from totally different angles. You come at it from about eleven o'clock onwards, and I come at it from about half past six in the morning. That's not to say I get up at eleven. That's when I'm going to start functioning. Yeah, no, that's it? why we decided to do this, isn't it? Because then we can kind of... Uh... I know. I think people are either a Monday, a, a Monday, a morning person or an afternoon person. Or a night person. Or a night, I'm definitely a night owl. Oh, yeah? I, yeah, that's I have my body clock set, I think, and I, there's nothing I can do to change it. Right, I've what does that mean like then? That. It means, I don't know. That means you can go out at night and stay yeah. out all night? Yeah. And then just have a lie in. And then just get up in the afternoon. <laughs> that be your ideal world? No, I don't think so, because you lose too many daylight hours. I don't think that would be very good for you mentally, do you? Keith Richards must have spent a lot of time <laughs> in the dark. Why'd you look at him? <laughs> <laughs> no, this Monday um, motivational. I'm going to click on the link. Oh, now, there we right? are. I'm going to click on the link, right? And, and it's all full of things like... Uh, it's all things about... Look, like, the universe makes it possible. Your mindset makes it probable your actions make it a reality yeah. and it's all that kind of stuff and i think motivational quotes the peaceful atmosphere and beautiful views from linda's farm prairie are not to be missed uh, motivational monday you yeah. see so all these people uh, this is how, what i imagine right and we've done this from time to time yeah is that we get on in the car i mean you do it two days a week and you have to drive somewhere and I do it and, you, and you hate it and I don't, I don't understand why you do it if you hate it. I suppose I do it for professional reasons as well. It's easier for my profession and for revalidation, and well, and it's <sighs> it's hard to decide. It's hard to decide to lose a skill set because once I stop doing it, I lose those skills. Fair right. Well, that that's probably more specific. But then, if you work at Tesco, and I always say this, and it's not fair, is it really? If you're working in a job where you where when you get up on a Monday morning, you can't face getting into your car and going to work. You're in the wrong job, aren't you? You're in the wrong life. Yeah. You're definitely in the wrong life. And you're never going to find happiness, are you, from your wage packet. You know, you're never going to get your wage packet on a Friday. This is how, this is how working class I am. I know, I'm going to put you on about your wage packet. <laughs> uh, get your wage packet on a Friday and oh, go, yeah. whoopee, I'm so glad I'm a whatever you are. And, and ate it. I don't think they approach life like that, though, do the people? I think they, they go to work because they go to work and they're pleased to have a job, they're pleased to be in work. It's just different, isn't it? And they're just happy to be paid, really. It's just a completely different mindset. I don't get I don't get it. I don't you. get it. What? Well, you, you're well, trying to explain it to me. You're just telling, trying think, to explain it to they, me. They don't, think, they don't think, they have no idea what you're on about. 
They go to work and they're pleased to be in in employment. They're pleased to have some money so that they can pay the bills. And they crack on, really. I think. I think they're mental, then. (laughs) That's that's mental health to me. That, That is mental health. Do you know how long you're here for? Average, the average lifespan of a human it's about being. Seventy, isn't it? Seventy. Well, it was. Uh, well, I think it might be older now. Well, yeah, I bet it is. I 70, think they've reevaluated it. Seven. It's, it's more. Seven score year and ten. These say, didn't they? What was that? I don't know. It was. It was the same, wasn't they? Was it not six score year and ten? I don't know. I'm not. I wasn't around then. <laughs> <laughs> let's say seventy, right? Oh, so let's say know. seventy. You're gonna you're gonna retire with the current conservative government. You're gonna retire at. 68. I think it's 8. No. Is it 68? I think they might have just Whoopee! changed it to 68. Yeah, because yeah. we all bought into that when we were 16, didn't we? And we all paid our national insurance knowing. Anyway, that's another podcast for another day. Um, so, you, so you get there, so you've got two days off. You've got two years off, haven't you? Realistically. Two years. That's, Let's say you, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got two years with a pension to do what you want to do in your life fill your boots and probably those two years are going to be with ill health anyway because you've knackered yourself up because you've pushed the you know especially if you're doing a manual job blue collar workers well even I mean look you know if you look at people that work behind desks and stuff that that must be physical abuse all day long just sitting on your backside and not doing anything looking out a window thinking I wish I was out there I don't understand that. I don't understand that because I would just go, oh, I'm going out there. I don't understand that. I've never I, had a job I, like that. I've uh, never had I can't imagine just filling forms in a summer all day. <laughs> what would that be like? I know. I've joined this thing called Crowdfire where I have to click these buttons every morning like a monkey and it's doing absolutely doing me editing and it takes me 10 minutes. It's just a marketing tool. And it's boring, and it's just, yeah. Oh, it's absolutely, you know what I mean? I could, I'm, I'm going to teach Billy how to do it, actually. I'm going to yeah. teach Billy how to do it and I get him to do it on the bus to school every morning yeah. for me. Because it, it, it's ridiculous. But it's ridiculous, isn't it? It is ridiculous. And, and, and I know, I think to myself, oh, I'm, aren't I lucky that I, don't go, I ain't got to get up and get into a queue? Because that's what you're getting into. We got up last week, didn't we, to go and meet Keevan to talk about the ghost walk and we start work at 10 o'clock so we left yes, here we missed the rush didn't we and it was fucking and it was horrific, ridiculous wasn't it? and you yeah. think is this your life I know. is this your life sat in a bloody metal box on a piece of tarmac waiting for someone to move so you can get to work to somewhere you hate i don't get it i think a lot of people it's love the jobs this as well no i think well let's change because i think i know, most of my friends love going to work and they love the jobs they? because they've chosen careers that they have an interest in and they love it what kind so of careers have they chosen uh, a lot in the medical profession a lot of doctors and a lot of nurses that's you get you can see fulfillment in that though can't you you can yeah. see an end product generally either either you packed them into a box and buried them there's nicely. a lot of people who, who work for themselves who um, own shops own factories and so forth who are really motivated who have staff that they care about they want to get there and make sure everyone's alright what motivates them then? probably making money I don't think it is I don't know I don't we think making them. money I don't think making money is a I think succeeding if you run a big printing business what's your motivation? So I'm just plucking someone that I know All very right. well out of air. I think it's. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think it is because I think I've had this in my business. It, the getting the job is really, really satisfying. Doing the job is really, really boring. Generally, so you're paying someone to do the job for you, really, aren't you? As well, well you, if you own a you could pre- do. If you own a factory, well, you could do. Thing, but yeah. a lot of people, I would imagine, still do the job, don't they? Because there'll be a lot. There are a lot of small businesses out there, aren't there? They're all. Like me, you know, I'll sit here and I'll do the marketing and then I'll build the set. Yeah. You know, I can... I suppose in my head, I've got somebody in mind who has a larger business than that, but yes, of course, a lot but of people most, will get involved. Most people. Yeah. And that's what, that's what they love, isn't it? You know, that's the the love of it. I bet you any money, Mr. Tesco, if he, he's still alive, still walks into his shops and goes, why are the apples there? I reckon we'd sell more apples, you know what I mean? And get you know because he's he's going he wants to sell 
10 more units of apples and that's that's the buzz to mr tesco i am i would imagine you know and he wants to be on this high street it's just a bigger game isn't it uh, but, yeah. the, but you can see that it, it's not about the money the money is the byproduct of the success the success is what drives you i think i think you know what drives yeah. me what drives me is people's laughter people children walking out of my theater having absolutely loved it loved it even if you've got 10 in the audience and you're not making any money it's still a real massive bonus you know well, if, you if someone walks that. out of your someone walks out of your surgery and they came in and they've had for two weeks had a really bad foot just an example and you've gone oh that's dead easy it's that that's really fulfilling i would imagine to you because you've got you've alleviated oh, loads of lots pain and lots of things yeah. that are very fulfilling about my job there's loads of things you've told really. me loads of stories where you've changed yeah. people's lives like that because you had the information and the key to help them to go oh right oh you know what i mean you've told me loads of stories like that so do you think that people you see to me printing cards is the most boring thing in the world so i, I couldn't i was really struggling then to find out what your motivation would be if you had a printing business all right then all right all right I, I, i'll give you this scenario then what if you printed cards and someone came to you and said i want, I want a business card i'm an xyz business right and you were a really good card printer, and they came up with a card that says, Darren Yates. Mm. I'm sorry if there's a Darren Yates in the world out there listening. There must be none of you. Um, Darren Yates, plumbing services to the extreme, right? And and you're a card manufacturer, and you know your industry really, really well. And you know, because they, they, they'll have fashions and stuff. Cards go in fashions, yeah. don't they? And you go to them, Darren why don't you do this instead, right? And Darren goes, oh, that's really, really good. Will it cost me any more money? No, it won't cost you any more money. He does that. And everyone goes, oh, I love your card, Darren, and starts to take the card and puts it on the fridge and it makes him more work. I'm just saying that as a scenario. It might get two or three more jobs out of having a really beautiful card that's got something clever on the back. I don't know because I don't manufacture cards. But do you understand what I'm saying? If you're really good at your job, then people will come to you for your job. I suppose it's job satisfaction. Yeah, if you're good at your job, that's what you get out of your job. I mean, it? how many posters have you walked past then? Let's take the the printing allergy. Is that allergy? <laughs> 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 you see, it's, it is early in the morning, isn't it? Um, oh dear. If you take the, the the printing idea and and go <laughs> and go with it, what are you laughing at? Now? Because Don't you mock said me. <laughs> Don't mock me. <laughs> not for comedy value listeners um have, and you take oh, it dear. and you see some posters don't you some posters you walk past like an amateur dramatic poster and you look at it and you go that looks awful mm. you know and a business card a poster a flyer is the advert to your business and if your yeah. business advert looks really poor then you look poor so when you employ a really good printer with good quality card with you know everything you are making a statement about your business that's good isn't it yeah that's isn't that good yeah so 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 to the printer it's about you know he, if he does that and continues to do that and continues to get people really excited about his cards I can't believe we're talking about bloody it's business my fault, cards because I was just I know, trying to think I know but <laughs> but then that must get you out of bed every morning I can see that getting you out of bed every morning yeah. it's exciting going what can I do for Dean today to make his plumbing business look fantastic of course it is it's great yeah i can see that yeah yeah there you are so do you think that everyone in a job that's to you and i on, for, on all intents and purposes is really dull and repetitive right. yeah do you think every single person who has a job like that hates it is I, that what I, you're saying well the only people i know that i see on a day-to-day you know, I, th I, went, I caught the bus to Manchester last week and the, the, I was on the uh, X43 and I wondered, I was wondering about the bus driver because you know as the pass each other on the motorway, yeah, they they've... flash or they the, wave. Yeah, of course they're, they're going to do that, aren't they? Because yeah. they you know, they probably never even met that other driver because, you know, it's a massive journey, isn't it? And yeah. They won't, you know, come together and go, oh, hello, I saw you on the, the M50, you know what I mean, whatever. Yeah, they won't see much of each other. Um, but they're kind of buddies. And I always think, are they proud to be a bus driver and driving thousands of people? Because that's what they must do every week. They must drive hundreds of people to Manchester and back again to Skipton. And does that give them pride? I don't know. 
I don't know. Would would you get proud out of that? I, well, you would, wouldn't you? Because you, at the end of the day, you're enabling people to go to work. You're enabling people you're to getting do, them there safely. Depends how you look at it, I suppose, in your life, isn't it? You know, it's like when you go to Tesco. I can't bear going to Tesco or ASDA. It's because the staff uh, talk to people and they, they ask questions of old people. And you sit you, you, when you're in the queue going through the checkout and they're going, oh, hello, Doreen, how are you? How's your Burt's Lombago? And you're just going, <laughs> and you're just going, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Now, is that my problem or, you know, is that... I think it is. I think for a start, all old people love people talking to them when they're out yeah. and about. They God, do. This they is love it. Now, isn't it. But I'm saying that that, that person that's, behind the counter that's... is caring, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. And, and they're, they're making, making their contact. job more interesting, aren't they, by of, chatting of course, to people? Of course. And they make ASDA more attractive to that person, yeah. but less attractive to this person. Mm. That's true. Do you know I mean, because when they go, oh, are you all right? Oh, isn't the weather terrible? I just want to go, shut up. Just put me potatoes in the bag and let's move along, please. <laughs> I think we've just got to say you're an oldie man, really. <laughs> Where if you I just mean it. Chuck your well, groceries. I ain't that as well. say, bugger off. I ate that now. I'll do, do me any now because They're newcomers have come in. <laughs> newcomers have come in and they don't understand the rules. <laughs> we stood behind someone the other day who was packing. Oh, yeah. You know, packing Aldi, you just put it in the trolley and you move to the side. Anyway. Well, look, she, anyway. The, I think, they see, I think they've got it right, Aldi, though, because Aldi are trained in all aspects of the shop. so And they are expected, as a team, there's a manager, isn't there? And then as a team, there are assistants, they move around the shop doing every single job. Like, if you go if you go Little, Little are quite famous for their bread. So... And I know it's not going to be rocket science, so they have to just put it in an oven, don't they? And make the bread. But someone's got to do it. Someone's got to learn how to use that machinery. Yeah. Someone's got to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And and I think that's better because you've got more and more things to learn. And as a human being, you're more, you're more, you're needed more, and you're more useful to the company than just the girl sat there on the till, going, "I am Doreen. How's your Burt's Lumbago? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that you know, if 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 all day long, and well, I know this to be true. If all day long you had to put uh, bandages on and give someone uh, an injection for for summer, you'd be bored, senseless, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. Well, you would, because you, you used to do that, and then you moved along. You went, oh, I don't like this job. This is rubbish. It's boring. I've never had a job like that. Well, you must have done things that were like run of the mill. It's, it's always been. Different. Yeah, your day is very varied, always. There you are. Bless the Even nursing profession. Even when you're newly qualified, you but then there are But something. there are nurses that you work with that that, that that will do things, the same thing every day in, day out, won't they? Generally? Uh, I, suppose, I suppose like outpatients. I mean, I don't work with them, so I don't know that work. But outpatients, I suppose, it must be super boring in a hospital. You know, when you tip up to go and see someone... With, I don't know. You know when you went with your Dependent Syndrome? Oh, yeah. Like that kind of job. That must be super dull. Can I just say, we're not really worried about my Dependent <laughs> Syndrome anymore. Because <laughs> uh, my mum said, oh, just massage it and it'll go away. <laughs> and I've been massaging it and it's uh, kind of, it's, it's kind of going away, isn't it? Is it? It's still there, look. Well, that ain't. No, is it? Yeah, look at that. What? Yeah. All right. You're just taking... I'm just disabled. <laughs> don't tell the Mickey out the disabled, Joanne. I don't understand what you mean. Oh, I, I, you were saying about me dependence. No, and yeah, no, what, you were saying about someone in in in. Uh, well, I suppose it, it is my profession, but it. Uh, patience. It's, yeah. So yeah, so I would imagine that's super boring and repetitive. Is it? I don't know. I've never worked there, but I would imagine it looks like it. So how come we're talking about work then? We were talking about oh, Monday mornings. We were about Monday mornings. I well, 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 the, well, the only thing I was worried about Monday mornings is because I looked at Twitter and it had Monday Motivational and said, um, oh, don't worry about it. Life's really long and varied and you can get two I'll years off at I the end. Think, what it is, you know, I think two days off a week isn't enough. I think that's the problem with Monday. I think by the time you've had Saturday and Sunday off, you could just do with another day. I do you think. know what I think as well, though? What I think as well, and we learnt this in Germany. I can't believe this is a professional podcast, ladies and gentlemen. That's a kettle in the background because Auntie Jo 
has just gotten up and she can't function without caffeine. She's had a coffee already and she's going, oh, I need some tea. I don't have tea. I can't speak. Germany. What happened in Spain and France for... What happens on a Sunday? Everything closes. It stops. Yeah. And I think that's a massive deal. I don't. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I not, I'm not a church... I mean, they, they, are more, they have more God than we have. Yeah, the religious countries aren't there, much more so than we are. But I think give people a bloody day off is what I think. You know, if, I, if you can't plan, plan. your food... Yeah, I agree. For ...the shop to be closed for one day a week, you're a bit of a bloody numpty, aren't you? I agree with you. I do agree with you. But we become a nation of shoppers, haven't we? We were, we were a nation of shopkeepers. Now we're a bloody nation of shoppers. Yeah. And people can't find anything to do other than See, go to the supermarket and go, Oh, Terry! Terry, have you seen this? Well, and if you go into town, if, if you go into Manchester on a Sunday, it's packed, it's rammed to people blooming shopping, isn't because it? Because we haven't got any imagination, I, I uh, suppose. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then, and then what, what we do is, I mean, we're guilty of it, aren't we? We, we have walked around B&Q on a Sunday afternoon looking at bathroom suites. Yeah, we have. You know, yeah. like everyone else, you know. And it, and it, but it is an absolute waste of life, isn't it? When you think about, it, you know, we're not even going to buy a bathroom suite, are we? We just go in and go. Oh, look at that, Mark. Stand, sit in that bath. We don't have baths, Joanne. I know, but you know, just sit in it and have a look at it. Have it. Oh, isn't that good? Hey, you could put your knees up and everything. It's all too beautiful. But you know. So I think the problem with Monday is just that you know you've had a couple of days off and you you think you know what another life really. Yeah. I want to have another day. With my family, instead of going going off to work and seeing him tonight when it's gone dark. We had a proper lazy day yesterday, didn't we? We yeah. watched Watts Forest Derby. Got to blame Nottingham Forest for that. Yeah, and, and <laughs> Joanna went, oh, shall we have a, shall we have a can of lager? <laughs> this is like half past one in the afternoon, and that was it, really, wasn't it? Yeah, that, well, that yeah well, obviously, you know you're not going to be productive once you've done that, don't you? I know, but we did we did know that we were going to do that, so we did go on a big walk. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We tried to make ourselves earn yeah. it a little bit. And then we, we decided that we were going to have a Sunday tea. Oh. But that's how it should be. Yeah. I, think. I said this to you yesterday. I said, wouldn't it be nice if Ooh, you just made a really nice. big tea and everyone came round and you drank some wine and had a chat and... And it was more European. But I know you, that's a big... You said yesterday you felt Italian, didn't you? But I did feel Italian. I, th- yeah. I felt like, you know... Watching football. Watching football. Eating nice food. Eating nice food. Drinking nice beer. Having a glass of wine. And then you wake up on Monday morning. And isn't it great? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go for a run in a minute. Oh, yeah. That'll wake me up. Well, that'll, that'll definitely wake you up. Um... Well, that's about it then, isn't it, really? We've uh, we've moaned on. I don't think we've got to the root of why Mondays are so... Why everyone rabbits on about Mondays, though? Well, what do you think they rabbit on about Mondays for, then? I think, it, like I say, I think it's because they've just had two days off and they'd like another one. Most people don't get two days off, though. Most people work on Sunday. I know, but will they not have two other days off? Yeah. Instead. But, but... There's something to be said. Uh, at the end of the day, right? You know, when you was a kid, what was the worst day of the week? Sunday. Exactly. You know, because you, if you didn't go to church, which I didn't, and you didn't go to Sunday school, which I, I didn't, you're knackered, aren't you? Are you still yawning? <laughs> oh, I'm snapping too. Now I've been up a bit. Been up yeah. half an hour now. Yeah. Um, Doing all right. Ten o'clock. Um, what were we on about then? Sundays. Yeah, you said we didn't like them when we were children. Hated I them. hated them. I know hated they were really them. boring, weren't and they? And what did you do? You got up in the morning, you played, played with, your with your mates, and then if you were, you'd have your Sunday tea about one o'clock, because that's how you did it in the 1970s, and then you went, we, we used to all get in the car and go down the Trent and have a walk along the Trent in the summer. In the winter, you went out and played again. Yeah, you know, but it, it, it we, never, we most... didn't have daytime television when we were children either, did we? Oh, you used to have Space 1999 on a Sunday. <laughs> do you not remember that? On a Saturday morning. Do you not Too remember slow. Space 1999? Anyway. No, I don't. Anyway. But it was the most boring day ever. And and it's because we're not orientated like that, are we? You know, well, you know, the working class is on. And then Thatcher came along and went, I know what we need. We need to spend more money. We need to borrow more money, spend more money, borrow more money, spend more money. 
let's get the economy going like this. Yeah. And we became consumerists. And, and I don't know, you know, that's too big a question for two people in a kitchen on a Monday morning to answer, isn't it, really? <laughs> Definitely me, anyway, I have no idea. Because you know my, what I say, don't you? If the answer's money, you're asking the wrong question to me. It's because I'm bloody skinned. Anyway. <sighs> Crumbs. Anyway, so... Uh... Yeah, nice to have you back, Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, so, Mondays are... I mean, the thing is, if you worked a Saturday and a Sunday, which I've done plenty of that in my life, when I used to do shifts, Mondays are all right then, aren't they? Because you're if, off. If you're off. You might have Monday, Tuesday, I know, but it's, not, it's not the... I, I think... That you get confused. I think I think it is. I, I don't it's think the, it's about the day. I do think it's about, it's about work, the, and that's probably why we've veered towards work. It's whether you have to go out to work or not. Well, you just told me you love your job. So why do you get that well, sinking feeling there? I'm a, I don't really. Don't really. You want to let your face know about it, then, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell yourself about I know, it. To be honest with you, it's um, it, you know when you can't, you're not doing things in your own time. I don't like to have to be somewhere for a certain time. That's yeah. what pisses me off. That is actually what gets my go. If I could just rock up when I got there. I, I, I don't understand why we don't start. I mean, you know, the theatre starts at 10, finishes at 6. And that that's civil to me. That's like, you can get up at 8, you can have your breakfast, leave the house at 9, and then you're away. Yeah. And get there, get to well, work for 10, or so, quarter to 10, have a cup of tea. and I'd do go. 11 till 6.30. Really, I think you'll get more out of people. I think you're probably Because if right. you're a morning person, you've time to do things before you go in as well, haven't you? I know, but you'd be really tired by six... I mean, look at me. Look how grumpy I am come six o'clock. Yeah, that's true. I know, you've had enough by then, haven't you? Know, you know, I've been up 12 hours then. And I'm like, ah, yay! <laughs> well, I won't go that far, okay? I won't go that far. No, it's... I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I do think that, though, that people... If they're depressed on Monday morning, or you know the first day of work morning, mm. they ought to look at their life and think, you know, what what am I doing? If it's like this, they do, Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> that was the longest pause ever. And then a fade. I was just accident. thinking. I was just thinking. Can I be bothered to re- reply adequately? And I thought, no, I'll just go for it. They do, ducky. Yeah, they do, ducky. <laughs> so, so there you have it, listeners. That's oh. uh, that's our thoughts on Monday, the sixteenth of October. What we got to do this week, Joanne? We've got a list, actually. We have got a list. I've got to. I've got I to. to I've got to, some documents in and get ready for this digital prescribing thing. Yeah, so I've got to uh, do my speeding form, and I because oh, I got God, three yeah. points on my license. For doing 56 miles an hour in a 50 zone. I know. And I've got to, uh, this week, write a ghost walk. Write, write my ghost walk down and start to learn it. Um, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I want to go and see Keith. Keevan's doing that upper mill one, isn't he? I bet you any money he did. He'll wake up on a Monday morning and go, come on. He, he will be good, actually. He's already found loads more ghost stories than I've ever found. Are we going to Clitheroe tomorrow, Marketing? Yes. We are. And that's what we're doing tomorrow. So we're Tuesday up morning, tomorrow. we're up and out. Yeah. Tuesday morning. Yeah. Lot to do. Uh, and then, and then, uh, we've got a meeting about heritage funding. Oh yes. On Wednesday. Oh yes. We want to. We, we want to do a. Uh, what's it called? A satellite audio. Audio. Satellite. Tour. No, it's called. GPS audio tour, isn't it? Yeah. GPS. Oh, location audio tour, something yeah. like that. Some spanky word anyway so what all that means is as you walk up to something your phone uh, knows where you are and it starts to talk to you about tells you a story about that building or that place or whatever so uh, that's quite exciting isn't it it is i'm really excited right well this is two this is the second episode of season two of season is it season three do, or do we call it seasons because we're british Ser- series <laughs> a series series yeah. we've been commissioned again so I'd just like to thank the commissioners at Hardcraft Theatre Company um, and I'd like to thank the uh, BBC for allowing us to talk about them like this 
And I'd like to thank, uh, who else would like to thank? Me? I'd like to thank Joanne Whiteley, or Foxy Wharton, as she likes to be called, <laughs> for not being... I've been in a really good mood when I've just got out of that. Only because you've been recorded. <laughs> Yeah, you should do that every morning. <laughs> I do. I, I might just put the microphone on the box on the table and go, "Yeah, do that." Should we say goodbye? Yes. Are, have we kind of have we kind of spoken what we speak? We've speak. We spaked. We spaked. Do we know any good stories to tell them just before they go? That's happened to us this week. Oh, I'll tell you what's funny. Flipping take a break on Thursday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We forgot about that. I've tried to forget about that. I know, I've forgotten about it. When we got married. I think it's because I'm not telling anybody. I'm not reinforcing. I know. I know, it's like our wedding, isn't it? It's like our wedding vows. When we got married, you have to go back to about three or four episodes, I think, and we, we got married in Nashville. You, you know this story now, it's like boring snoring. Anyway, um, Joe got an email from a lady who said, I work for Take a Break. I can give you cash, cash prizes for your story. So Joe foolishly it seems sold now. my soul to the devil the devil indeed so <laughs> if you're walking through tesco this week uh, and it go on the magazine aisle there's a in the bottom right hand corner this will be what 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 number issue is it 42 issue 42 so you've got to be quick or your missus um and then you can read it's sickening should, should we just read oh just let me read that first the, paragraph it's flipping hilarious cool. um hilarious. I, i'll try and i'll try and talk The, the weather looks. This hurricane hasn't started yet. Yeah, yeah. No, it's on page fifty-eight. If you if is you're it? interested, so but this is this is how when you sell your soul to oh, take a break. This is what happens. This is this is how they write about you. Let me put the oh come on! Come in, dearie us. I wouldn't mind, but it says by Joanne White. It looks like I've flipping written it. <laughs> you have. Oh dear! Listen to this. As I bit into my toast, I eyed the figure across the table carefully. He was gazing at the butter with a strange look in his face and I thought, something's up. Just then, Mark put down his fork and stared at me. Then he said, do you want to marry me? Now it was my turn to drop my fork. Really? I gasped. <laughs> You're like, oh my God. <laughs> We have that scenario every morning, don't we? Oh, every day. We speak every to each day. other like that. I was probably looking at the butter thinking, oh, it's a cheap one from Lidl. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> oh. Anyway, on that bombshell, uh, we will see you. Are we going to do one next week? Yes. Uh, in fact, if you can email us or Twitter us a, uh, a, a subject. subject. That, I think yeah. that was good, wasn't it? It's like, like, maybe we could do, maybe it's Halloween next yeah. It's Halloween next, and uh, we did talk about something last. Did we talk about Halloween last time? We no, did. We did. We talked. You see, you can't even remember what we did. We did talk about ghost stories and stuff. Yeah. Um, but we did talk about ghosts. We did. We talked. Just talked about ghosts. I think. I don't think it was specific to Halloween. Specific. That's an see, interesting. I'm working word. up now. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. Bye, everybody. Shall I turn it off then. Oh gosh, yeah.